Hello, good evening, Wanda here. I am here tonight live on Facebook at Creative uh, Rock Art and Foil Techniques. And um, we are going to attempt this fairy. I think I said the name of our group wrong. <laughs> Anyways, the Foiling Rock Lady and Friends is on live and we are going to attempt this 3D fairy. And... Uh, with the new wings and UV resin. So I've got out several things tonight and Julie's on with us tonight. She is our new moderator. She's gonna be making magic in the background. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. Thank you so much. Hi, Lonnie. Who's all here with me? Very nice. Okay, so my plans are, you know, it never goes to plan on a live, but my idea is uh, pretty much like the dragonfly, like this guy that came out pretty, pretty great. This one wing is kind of laying down a bit, but I still think it's hanging in there considering um, it was experimental and I just, I just love this. So <laughs> we're going to try it again, but with the fairy. So what I did is I printed out my photograph or my image and I did my thing, traced it on my rock with graphite paper. And then I had another copy of it. So I just cut out this part of the wing. Can you see that it's exactly the size. I'm sorry, it's the front wing. There we go. So it would sit just like that. So it's just the front wing because I want to lift that off the rock like that. Does that make sense? So it looks like, you know, she's 3D. Hi, Susan. Hi, Kate and Deborah. Hello, everyone. All right. Earlier, I was trying to figure out how to use my iPad to do the filming because it just takes a great movie, you know, makes a great movie. But I can't figure out the sound. So we're going to keep on using my phone, which I don't think it's a bad thing. I just was ready for the upgrade <laughs> but apparently I need to go to college to learn how to run that thing <laughs> so we will uh, figure this out right I'm trying to find oh there I am I was trying to find me in the feed over here and okay I'm smarter already all right so I'm going to use the uh, watercolor pencils by King Art and these are woodless watercolor pencils. They have no wood, and so it's full pigment all the way through. It just has a little, I don't know what the outside of that is. It's just like a lacquer. Anyways, you can sharpen it just like a pencil. Works beautiful. And I'm going to be using an aquash brush by Pentel. There's actually two sizes here, small and a medium. These are the ones I love to um, brush letter with. And I don't use my brushes with water in them. I just love the way these brushes work here. And I have a regular watercolor paintbrush. I, it's so generic, I couldn't even tell you where it came from. It has a name on it, but I don't think that means much. Royal and Langnickel. It's a size 8. Round. Has a nice point. Um... I'm also going to probably, most likely, definitely <laughs> bring in my Chromatech watercolor pens because they always save the day. And uh, I did the lining in advance to save some time because I know this is going to take a long time. <laughs> Anyways, I used Pigma Micron. Uh, I believe that's .01 around the face and the antenna. I used .3 a uh, uni pin fine line you know they're both uh by sakura sakura and uh, i used a uh, posca same company 1mr black for the thicker line in here and that's a i believe 1mr is 0.5 right or 5 all right and then i've brought out some powders that i want to incorporate into our uv resin um, when we're cooking the wings <laughs> and these are pearl flakes uh, this is by pearl pleasure this is also a an Etsy company 
Um, and these planks, can you see that shift there? They're like this bright indigo shifts to a red. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see the red shift? And then this one is like to a, a bronzy gold shift. So I have no idea where I'm going to put them, but I'm just feeling some crazy flaky. And then this is also a flake. This is from my fave uh, place, Yuli Pigments. And this is the, come on, focus, holographic flake. I don't know if you can see the sparkle there. And then I'm also going to be using uh, Lori Scent Samples. And I'm going to try to fit these in there somewhere. These are from Naturalist Paint company and this one is a blue green it's like an interference paint and this one is a green gold interference and the beautiful holographic that's definitely probably going on the wings <laughs> you know the bling bling all right let's get painting what do you guys say so I'm just dipping my I have a little cup of clear water here and I dip my brush in it to dampen it and I'm just going to grab another paper towel to keep on hand. So I'm going to look up every so often and check the feed. But uh, I'm going to let Julie kind of handle questions tonight unless it's something, um, you know, that only I can answer. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to check back through and say hi to everybody real quick and then start painting. I got uh, Julie, Lonnie, Deborah, Kate, Susan, and Pam. Hello. Hello, everyone. All right. I'm going to start with, I don't, uh, let's see. This is uh, Peach Beige. And I'm just going to work right from the pencil tonight. We're going to start right in the face. I'm going to go in there <laughs> this is the what I'm always intimidated by faces and I know you know I've been doing tutorials now for a year and I just recently started doing faces this last month it's not that I've never done a face I just wasn't comfortable you know that's kind of out of my comfort zone so uh, I'm working on that so I'm just putting down a base color you know, it's a little yellow but we're going to work in some warmer tones. Just giving it a base. So I want to have definitely, this will be more highlights, you know, where the sun would hit. Hi, Teresa. And try to not drip on your rock. <laughs> you know, all these things I think of, like, because I've done it before. The great thing about the pens that I used is that when they're dry, they're, they're permanent and they're, um, Oh, it's a 0.7. I'm sorry, I'm reading over here. This Posca 1MR is a 0.7 millimeter. Sorry about that. What was I saying? Oh, the pens. They are color fast, permanent, waterproof, fade proof, pigment inks. And what's that other word I'm looking for? Archival. <laughs> yes, that's the one. So I'm just blocking in the big sections of color here and then we'll do the shading. It's not my strong point, but I'm learning. And I am so excited to get over to the wing. <laughs> I can't wait. I've been looking at the dragonfly for a few days just 
waiting until I had some time to get to it. Waiting impatiently, I should say. Um, I am using the pencil I'm using. Let's see. Teresa is asking what the pencil is, and it is peach beige. Come on, focus. Peach beige, and this is by King Art. They're watercolor pencils, woodless watercolor pencils. This is the case. Hi, Gail. Dogs are going crazy outside. Ooh, I think I am done here with this color. That's right, it's right here if I need it. No panicking. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to, this is crimson. Just a very teeny tiny bit of the crimson. Starting to put some color in here. And try not to have too much uh, moisture, just, you don't want it dripping down, you know, here. And the little feet in the toes. Um, the question, let's see. Uh, Amazon is where I got the pencils, sorry. Yeah, all the links will be provided um, either somewhere here in the feed or after I've posted. I will post it on Facebook and hopefully if it works out, <laughs> if it's a good live, it will go up to YouTube as well. So you'll have two places to uh, re-watch it. Okay, she's a fairy, so she can have pink skin if she wants to, right? <laughs> Let me come down here. You guys, I have a new uh, gadget here holding my phone, so I'm still learning how to use it. Sorry about all the wiggle. Stay there. No, stay. 
Sorry. Oh my gosh, it's just not going to stay there. Okay, I'm going to have to move it up just a bit so it'll stay. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. It will stop in a minute, I promise. Please stay. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on here. It doesn't want to stay. I got to figure out. Oh, there it is. There's a thing to tighten it. See, I'm learning with you guys, so. Okay, don't touch it. No more. <laughs> I have to, though. Okay. One more. Oh, my good Lord. Okay, you guys, thank you for being patient with me. All right, so what do you think? She doesn't look too, too awful bad. Yeah. I think I'm going to grab... This is Chromatech Khaki. I know, right? And I'm going to kind of take it on my water brush because I just want just a... I mean a little bit of that. Well, that's not going to work. My idea is not working. So the brush, uh, this is the Khaki by Chromatech, and this is just uh, water that I'm blending with. All right, let's see here. We always got a shadow under the chin of some sort, right? <laughs> All right, we're going to start leaving that her alone and move on. How are we doing, guys? Hi, Kate, Teresa. Thank you, Julie. You're doing amazing. Hi, Joan and Katie. Hello, Kathy. Miss Katie Thompson's here, guys. Whoop, whoop. And Misty and Gail. If I've missed someone, I do apologize. All right. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave her be. And, uh, okay, one more thing. Just for a minute here, let's her. Okay, so I think these are dahlias, <laughs> but they could be peonies or 
uh, what's the other one? The big fluffy. Oh, God, it's right in my brain. Anyways, I think I'm going to go. Yeah, I think I'm going to go Dahlia pink. <laughs> Crazy pink, right? Which is going to come from Red Brick, believe it or not. Red Brick is kind of a really magenta color it's not brick oh it does look bricky on camera well in real life it's like magenta <laughs> so I am just going to that works right there <laughs> we're going to put together right on the tips the dark This part right here is the, um, what is that? This, mm -hmm. I forgot what that's called. Anyways, it's part of the greenery. Aww. <laughs> Hi, Margie. Hydrangeas. Yes, go, Margie. That's it. Thank you. Lonnie, you're a super duper. Cheer Thank you. Best cheerleader. <laughs> I need to do that. So I have it over on my iPad over here. And this is actually the first time I've actually made it work for a whole year. First time I've actually seen myself while I'm working. It's on a delay, so it's sort of strange, but, <laughs> you know, I think I might do one flower at a time because, just because. <clears throat> so, with my other brush, a quash brush by Pentel, and no, that's not a commercial, I promise, <laughs> I am going to grab some... Primrose Yellow out of the same set. And we're going to blend back into our red brick. And really, I'm, there's not any special thing to this. Just watercolor is magic. When you blend it, you start on the light area and work into the dark area. And it sort of just kind of does its thing. Just make sure to work at the line where the two connect and they will blend themselves. Pretty cool, huh? I like it. Yeah, I'm going to turn the flash off because it's so glary. Can you see the difference there? I will turn it back on in a moment if it's not uh, right for you guys. But Is it better flash on or flash off? I'm just um, making the, the tips very dark. Off, good. Okay, thank you. Yes, 
you know, the iPad doesn't even have a flash or a pause. I mean, it's a beautiful, lovely machine. I love it, love it, love it. But I don't know how to work with that. So I'm trying to find a program because they have all kinds of pro, uh, uh, camera programs that will make your camera do other things. So I have to learn some new stuff. Like I said, I got to I got to go to college here. I'm definitely going to probably have to take a course on iPad operation. Hi, Talis and Susan. Oh, let me see if I can do kind of a uh, in the middle thing here with the light. Wow, no, that's not going to work. Um, I don't know if that's any better. There's going to be a little bit of a shadow here, but hopefully that'll give you some light on there. Oops, no, not the green parts. All right, going back to the uh, primrose yellow. Oh, Susan, that is so very kind. Thank you. Right back with the red brick. <laughs> if it ain't broken, why not fix it? Why fix it? I like that one. That was my grandfather's favorite. He always used to tell us too when we would, you know, get hurt as little little baby kids. If you're not bleeding, you ain't hurt. You know, and then the one time we broke our bones. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Doing good here. So, start throwing out some ideas for the wings, guys. Um, that's where I'm like, uh, what should I do out there? I really enjoyed last live where we had a interactive project you guys gave ideas and I rolled with it it was kind of like a voting system you know the most uh, the idea with the most you know if I see it more than once or twice or five times <laughs> then I'll go with that hi Matt who else is here Okay, back with the primrose yellow. Too much water. Sorry, I had a drip on the rock. I'm just drawing it back into the brush. Okay. All right, just gonna add a little bit of the red brick back in the tips. You 
Yeah, wings as in colors. Like, you know, I have all of the sparkles and stuff, but like, what do we want? You know, what do, what do we want to do with the wings? Do we want um, green wings, purple wings, blue wings, yellow? I mean, what even do fairy wings look like? Get your fairy wings out. What do they look like? <laughs> Hi, Allison. Nice to see you. Pink on the ones closest to her, then aqua on the ends. Do purple. Ooh, that's pretty. So pink here, then aqua, and then purple out here on the end is what I think you're saying. What do you guys think? <laughs> Matt. Man, I have nothing. Nothing. You're funny. Well, go get your tutu and your wings, Matt. Show us. What color are they? <laughs> Primrose yellow. Okay, just deepening the tips again with the red brick and then we'll move on to the green. Thanks, Matt. Purple, blue, and two turquoise. Okay, so we are solid with the purple, blue, and turquoise. Good. Thanks, guys. All right. Stocks. Okay. 
let's just lay down some green in here and then we'll add some you know brown back in there These are Chromatech water uh, color. This is bottle green. These are brush pens. Sorry, sorry, Julie, hang on. Okay, let me go back. Oh, I can't check messages while I'm live. It'll kick me off. Um. Let me see if I can do it over on the iPad. I don't want to mess up. Okay, we could do it, right? Facebook. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh wait, it's Messenger, right? Oh, thank you. Okay, I got you. Perfect. Julie's over here coloring pictures for me. God bless you. <laughs> That's perfect. You guys, I got to show you. Julie, you're on. <laughs> Ready? Thank you, Julie. Pink, turquoise, purple. Oh my gosh, Matt, don't be ever scared. Never, ever be scared of your tools. Don't be scared of your tools, man. Are you afraid of your, what kind of tools you got in the shed? Oh, cat, uh, Sienna. And what that is. Hmm. All right, and then some. Got to get some crazy green, yellow green going up in here. That ain't right. Nope. <laughs> That's not the right one. Okay, we'll do emerald. I need some green green, but I need it to be uh, noticeable. There we go. All right, I'm losing my iPad over here. Is it? I'm back. Okay, I'm getting good at this. Maybe I won't have to go to college. So, you guys all have iPads, don't you? <laughs> you think I'm crazy. Yeah, it's my very first one. So I don't even know the system. They what is it called? IOS or something? Yeah, it's freaking me out. But I am so excited to come into the what century are we in? <laughs> wow. All right, guys, what you thinking? Okay, let's move on to the dress and then the hair. You know what? Let's do the hair. Oh, there we go. So the hair, I am going to do brown. I know, kind of boring, but where's my ginger? Chromatech has a color ginger and I just dig it. There we go. 
Tinder. <laughs> yeah, experimenting. I'm experimenting. Very good, Allison. Okay, so I'm going to do like ginger, the highlights. And I used the black 1MR Posca and already put black in there. And by no means is this going to look like real hair. You, you, you feel me here? Okay. Not real hair. It's going to be one of those chunky highlight low light deals, right? When you go to the salon and she does blonde highlights and golden highlights and then brown low lights. Yeah, we're doing that. Except for we're not going to take seven hours to do it. So see, just around. <laughs> and then, is this the one? i got to find my tester rock. <laughs> That's too orange. Hmm, maybe there's a marigold color. Let's try that one. Okay, marigold. And then, you know, hickory, <laughs> hickory is beautiful, but it's kind of a red. You know, that's going to be really pretty. What do you think? Should we use hickory? Yeah, I think I'm going to go with hickory. Give her some like auburn low lights. And I'm going to hug the black Posca with it. the thicker lines that I put in. Sorry, there's a fuzz on my brush. <laughs> so when you're using uh, your watercolors, they will bleed, and I just wanted to show you, see how it's bleeding outside there. So try to go up on the tip so you can get the finest line possible. I, I have a habit of smushing my brush because I like to brush letter, you know. And to do that, you smush your brush, you know, you, you smush it down to get the letter. So I'm always smushing, <laughs> and that, that's not... No, that's not good. So try up on the tips. Less bleeding. Not too bad. Not. Yeah. All right, dress. <clears throat> what do you think about like a blue, this kind of blue? Wait, what was the wings? Let me go back there, up there. Pink. Okay, yeah, so blue, we could do blue with the here. Yes, is that? Yes, light blue. Very good. Lilac. Ooh, light blue and lilac. I don't know if I have a lilac y color. Mm, bison, no, bison tea is going to be kind of red. No, that might work. Okay, so we will. 
Yeah, I'm going to do this right in my hand so I can get some color. Because I don't want it like opaque. I just want it a wash. These are so much fun. Seriously, like finger painting. So I'm resting my pinky. That really, really, really helps with control of your brush. Also, you don't want your brush like so wet that it will drip. We're not working on canvas, so it's on the rock you just want damp not not wet Right, I'm going to bring in that lilac. Baby wipes to the rescue. <laughs> I'm going to pull it right at the creases just a bit. And then we'll blend that. I'm gonna put it around her waist too. All right, I need to do a little bit of shading in there. So I'm gonna use the gray. So from behind where the wing, like there's gonna be a shadow here. There's gonna be shadow here. A little bit from her hair. Okay. Pink. I think which pink 
<laughs> okay, wings, here we go. This is fuchsia, but it's going to be probably the one that shows us the most pink. And this is light pink. I'm going to blend the fuchsia so the hard line is hopefully not so hard. Okay, then there's a heron blue that I just love to blend with as well. Where did I put it? Hmm. There you are. And it's pretty light, very, very light. And when blended with pink, it makes this pretty lilac-y color. But we can use it to lead into the aqua turquoise. So. It's kind of like her dress. <laughs> no whoops. All right, we get that uh, turquoise coming in here. That's Persian green. There is one actually called turquoise, but it's kind of, that's this color here. I'm not sure that's the color we want. <clears throat> Hang on, I'm going to go back through the feed real quick. I have been totally ignoring you guys. Hang on. All right, hi Daphne. Uh, let's see, Debbie's asking what I'm using to color. These are Chromatech watercolor markers and the pencils are um, King Art woodless watercolors. Chromatech watercolor brush pens. Chromatech, ooh, come on, focus. Uh, Amazon, all of this. Okay, I don't like that turquoise, so I think I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make some. <laughs> oh, hey, turquoise, yeah, let's do it. Hand again. You know, Susan Nelson can probably relate to this. We're retired makeup artists. <laughs> Everything was in our hands, right, Susan? On the back of your hand. That's probably why I have so many reactions on my hands. <laughs> All right, aquash water brush.
Ah, uh, Deborah, I love it. You guys, Deborah raises monarch butterflies. She raises them all the way from egg to flying away. She has been sharing her beautiful butterfly family with me for the last few days. And you guys, it's, it's totally magic. It is magic. You have got to check it out. <laughs> Sorry, I put you on blast there. <laughs> But you can post in my group, our group, um, if you would like. You can post some of your photographs. Since photographs are considered art, we would love to see a photographic story of your butterflies. And she takes the most beautiful pictures, too. All right, where did I put... Is it Byzantine? Yes. Nope, that's not the one. So we want purple, 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 right? On the tips. Debbie's asking a wonderful question. Do I seal the rock so that it doesn't bleed? Um, I use UV resin, so most of the time I, we don't need to seal when you use UV resin. Um, but if you are doing anything else, uh, definitely hit it with. I really, really love Rust-Oleum 2X Matte. Or 2 times Matte, I'm not sure. I call it 2X because it's a 2 and an X. <laughs> All right, this is light violet chromatech. And I'm going to pull back into the turquoise. All right, so next uh, 3D wing project, we'll call it a monarch. Yeah? So if you guys haven't noticed, I'm a total coloring book artist. <laughs> I like that kind of stuff. I trace and, you know, that's that's my world. So, if you, Deborah, if you can come up with a um, easy monarch for me to put on a rock, definitely I'll work it out. So I'm using the aquash brush to blend the colors together so they're not, you know, just like not a harsh line there. Thank you so much. Julie, you are on top of things big time. <laughs> Sorry, Deborah. Okay, I didn't mean to put you on the spot, honey. You don't have to do that. I was just, um, I'm so, so impressed with your beautiful butterfly family. I'm sorry. That was really mean, huh? I'm sorry. I didn't mean it spiteful. It's, they're so beautiful. Thank you, Julie. I'm going to kind of do like an indigo color down here. I'm coloring in the black just to make it kind of a blue black. 
do believe I'm not 100% positive because I'm not the original artist and I couldn't find uh, the original artist. This was a free coloring book page. So, but um, I think the black is the back wing, the lower part, the inside of it. It was, it's black on the picture. So I'm, I don't know if it's a shadow or if it's actually connected to the front part, but no, there's not two tails, right? <laughs> Hi, Kate. Oh, I need to blend before we dry. See, if you wait too long, oops, that's the wrong color. If you wait too long, it will dry on you. So. We'll need to go back and reactivate. Which is just add some color and then grab a tad of water and blend at the line so you can soften it. And then I'm going to go back with the midnight blue that I added into the tail down here. And I'm gonna put it right at the edges to give us that nice glowing color. And then right on the, what are those veins or ribs or, Deborah, what are these called? in the butterfly family, even though she's a fairy. All right, let me pick her up so you can see. We're gonna have to reapply some of the liner in there, but. And remember, we're gonna have, whoops, <laughs> a 3D wing here. So this is really just going to kind of be covered up so it doesn't have to be perfect but real fast with Posca so that we can work on top of it I'm just going to sit down just redefine Yeah, left-handed. Okay. Um, I'm not left, obviously. I'm super disablingly right-handed. But I've heard people say that you need to apply your color the opposite direction. So, see, I always work from right to left because I, I – actually, I'm sorry. I work from left to right. So, you guys need to work the opposite way so that it won't – wait. Which way is that? Oh, yeah, this way if you're left. Work this way, this this way. Okay, so it'd be right to left. Work right to left so that you're not on top of your color. Hopefully that made sense. Because <laughs> I'm replaying it in my head and that's totally not uh, making any sense, is it? My pen just quit.
like I said, this is going to be under the other wing, so this is totally fine if these are thick and defined. So we need to, what, foil her dress maybe? We got to do her crown. Okay, <clears throat> here where it bled down here, can you guys see that? You see where it bled out of the lines? I am going to reline just a tad around that and make it bigger. See, now nobody even knows. Okay. Jewel out her crown's a good idea. All right. So for her dress, because we have to finish this before we can do the 3D deal. We grab the foil. Since we already painted her dress, should we like make it floral? Like with one of these on top? Or holographic print? This one's pretty cool. Let me show you this one. It might be kind of big though print for the dress, but can you see this one? I think it's kind of big for the dress, but um, how about polka dots? If I can find the polka dots, we gotta do polka dots, you guys. Where's the polka dots? Oh, they're right there. There's the polka dots. Roses. Polka dots. Now, what do you think? I'm kind of loving this. I think I want to do polka dots. Is that okay? I'll grab the roses and we can compare. And if I could... The roses have the word love in them. So... Kind of um, that would be sideways. No. The other is paisley. Yep. Which one? I Susan's the dots. Holographic, holographic dots. We're gonna do that. I just think it's okay. It's calling me. All right, I have to um, clear some room here. <laughs> Please forgive me. Live, you know, I can't pause and say, "Ha! Ah, look at that magic!" See? Now I have a clean desk magically. I'm not organizing. I'm just trying to put it kind of. So it doesn't fall all around me. Let's go. All right. Gloves. Gotta have those. Okay. 
okay, I have like one, two, three, four, five dots. We're going with the dots. Good job, guys. <laughs> yeah, I kind of probably influenced that, huh? Sorry. That was terrible. I want the dots. All right, beetles. We're going to use that. Beetles Art Foil Glue. I'm going to pour it into my dish. I'm going to use a clean side. <laughs> and I think uh, yeah, I'm thinking about it. This part of her hair up here it's I'm not sure what it is. I skipped a part of this. Um, can you see this right here? I think it's part of the crown or something, but, or it might be a leaf. It just is throwing me off. So I left it out. Anyways, this I believe is like covered, you know, her hair. It might be part of the crown, like maybe some velvet or something because our hair's not all the way black on top. So I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe I'll put some, um, some like of the holographic, on top of that part so it at least has some kind of bling bling you know we got to bling bling everything so. all right disposable eyeliner brush and make sure you've got your light handy got the MacArt six watt here and I'm going in and I'm going to try to stay off of the black lines so that I can see the definition in the folds of the dress. Oh, I have that song in my head. <laughs> Because it's polka dots. You guys know the polka dot song, right? She wore an itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. What's the next verse? Yep, that's how old I am. I think you should also have handy your torch, your lighter torch. For my Euro Europeans that are on with me, um, my torch is this. It's flame. Okay, I also have the UV torch, <laughs> which is a flashlight. Bye, Lonnie. Thank you for hanging out. I know this is a long one. Sorry, you guys, I know you're having trouble seeing through my hand there. I'll try to move my hand aside so you can see. Okay, I think we are ready for... I'm going to torch out the bubbles.
and cure that for one cycle. Move your glue out of the light. So while that's curing, uh, so on the wing, we can do, like we did last time, we did clear, and then we colored it and glittered it and and then glued it, or resined it on. Do we want to add color to the wings? See, I was thinking these flakes would be pretty somehow. I don't know. What do you think? Let's, or maybe mix the holographic powder in with it. In with the resin, you know? Because I have these cool little mixing bowls for resin. <laughs> I'm geeking out. Teresa's working overtime remotely. That is so cool. Getting paid to watch. <laughs> um, bling, 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 bling. Yes. We're going to bling, bling. Oh, that's a nice, nice, nice. All right, you guys ready? Should I go this way or this way? I think I'm going to go this way. Yes. Yes, I am. You make sure all these edges are down. I'm going to get my stylus just to make an extra run around the lines because the this foil, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. But for some reason, it doesn't like to stick around the mound, you know, the where the glue goes down. That's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> it sticks to the top just beautifully, but... Okay. There we go. Guys, look how beautiful. Splash on. Ooh, laser foil dress. Okay, flash off. <clears throat> wow, hi Kelly. Okay, so we've got the crown and then the UV wing. I think I'm going to leave the flowers because I, I was going to foil them, but I want the focus to be on her. So let's do the crown. And you know, I think that might be her hair, so I might have to find <laughs> Uh, it puts some brown back in there. I don't know. Now I'm second guessing myself. Hi, Kelly. Okay. Um, oh, I missed part of the flower there too, huh? All right, I got to fix that before we go. I'm just going to grab Carmine. Now you can't even tell. We're definitely going to put some rhinestones on her crown, but what color do we want her crown? Gold or silver? I'm just going to paint it. I have platinum or 3081E. Any mini money mo. Silver. I gotta vote for silver. Oh, gotta vote for gold. Okay, I need a tiebreaker. Next one is a tiebreaker. Silver, it is. Okay. <clears throat> S. 
so dig playing with you guys. Okay. This is Bote Galleria number zero. This is a nail brush, nail design brush. Okay, crown. Oh, it might be the gem in the crown, huh? That's easy to fix. Thank you, Allison. Julie, you are fast. You guys, give Julie a round. A round of applause. Cure fast, lightning fast. Thank you. What am I doing, guys? I got lost. <laughs> I got lost. So I gotta put her dress back on here. <laughs> you are so much help. Thank you. Okay, we'll do the. Um, we can't do the rhinestones until after when the resin is curing. So I think that top of the head, I'm going to. What should I do with it? But it just, it's looking weird to me. See this black part up here that's all colored in black? Sorry, I'm just fixing the spots. Okay. Okay, so let's, uh, I guess, start working on the UV wing. Because we have to have it ready, so when we put the UV on, we can just stick it in there. And then we can add rhinestones at that time. She looks so pretty. Put lighter colors over here. Ugh, oh, that means I gotta go get acrylic paint. Okay, hang on. Just for you. <laughs> Gotta love silicone mat, right? That was chestnut apple barrel.
Okay. Yeah? Better? Hair better? All right, see, it pays to listen to you guys. Thank you. Okay, can we do the fun part now, please? <laughs> I'm such a whiner. <laughs> so, um, did we decide about color in the wing or not? I'm going to go ahead and put the resin on here and then we can play with. Nope, nope, nope. If we put the color, I got to do it in the dish first. So, color or no color? Bling in or after? You know what? While, while I'm waiting for an answer, I have to move the stuff out of the way of the UV light because this has to go in the big one. And then don't forget, I got to tell you about this. I don't think you can mix these in with resin because they're kind of wet paint, but that would be pretty. We could, but I could paint over it. Okay, so we have a vote for some color. So I did pull out some. They are interference colors, so they're basically clear iridescence. Can you see these? Oh, let me turn on. I don't know if you can see it. Like, that's a green, and this one's a pink. You guys can't see them, can you? Holy moly. Okay. The only way I know how to show you is on black, so... They'll be beautiful, you guys just trust me. Or we can always go with the crazy color shifting paint, uh, colors from Yuli. That one's pretty, huh? Ooh, that might be pretty on the wing. <laughs> See, it's like a, okay. I'm gonna just do my thing, good idea. I think I'm going to mix some of the green blue and the purple blue. Yeah. Okay. And I've never, uh, this is my second time mixing something into resin. So, I don't know about all that. You know, measurements and that. I don't know. I have these tools, though. I have to turn my light on so I can see what I'm doing. So, it's going to be flashy. Flash. Okay, so I'm going to do two pots of color. That's probably way more than I need, but I will make another wing if I need to. <laughs> Okay, so this color, it's so crazy how different they look on camera. It turns purple. It's, uh, can you see the shift there? Okay, so I'm going to put, uh, not a lot because I don't want it to turn dark. I just want it to be, <clears throat> you know. I know it looks dark, but it's actually transparent. Isn't that beautiful, though? <laughs> that was a tiny bit of color, so that was, like, entirely way too much. Okay, we're going to call that one done. I'm going to put like 
a lot less than this one, like, like a lot less. Look at this green. It's so beautiful. Like, I'm not even going to dump, see, I'm just going to put it on my spoon, like, touch my, now there's nothing. Lord, <laughs> help me. <laughs> okay, so we putting some in. I need one more hand. Ooh, so pretty. They look so much darker on camera though. Like I can see through these. But to you guys, it looks opaque. It's so crazy. Maybe once I get it on too. Okay, so now we have like a purpley blue and some green. And I'm just going to swirl them together. Yeah? <laughs> Your word assistant, yes. All right, here we go. So here's how I did this last time. I just kind of took the, well, I used it from the bottle, the clear. And then I moved it onto the wing. I'm doing these a little thicker because the other ones I noticed were um, kind of too thin on one side. So I'm going to try this thicker this time. Anyways, you put it in the shape of your wing. So that is the whole point too. And I'm going to make it a tad bigger. Um, putting the paper under our window film here. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this color kind of out like And then this one. Sorry, I know I'm being quiet. I'm concentrating. <laughs> so did I already have my resin mixed up in the bottom? No. Oh, this is UV resin. Um, so it does, no mixing required. It's already ready. Already. Are you talking about the color, Teresa? Because I, I did add some... Uh, pigment in there, some uh, mica pigments, they're color shifting. Trying to get it some kind of like cool swirly thing going in there. Kind of wingy. That looks pretty. What do you guys think? <laughs> Remember, it's only my second time, so. And it's all still experimenting. I think it looks pretty. Is it the right shape? It's the right shape, though, right? 
we can check that here. Let me move these resins out of the light uh, area. So, yeah, I think it's going to work. You guys, I think it's going to work. See, then it's going to go. Okay, here we go. Ready? In the light. Hold your breath. Please work, please work, please work. Oh, I forgot to fire it. Okay, fingers crossed. There's not a lot of bubbles. Guys. <laughs> what was in the bottle? This is Mr. Resin. Is this what we're talking about? Amazing resin. Magic resin. That Yes, this is... <laughs> Susan, thank you. Me too. I know. I'm like a child right now. It's like I'm like at the Macy's store with my fingers tapping on the window at Christmas time, you know. Open, open, open. <laughs> it doesn't take much to uh, excite me. We're bendy. Yay. Oh, it's really hot. Got to let it go just a little bit longer. I'm trying to think of my uh, plan to take it off of the plastic because I need it to be bent. So I need this part to be kind of bent up. Okay, I think I need to take it while it's warm so it'll pop off easily. Yes. Oh, please, please keep going. Here we go. Bend, bend, bend. So you gotta have this bend because that's how it connects. And then let it cool. I'm gonna be very careful with this piece down here because I have a feeling it could just tear right off. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, okay. Okay, we're going to foil her under wings too with some transparent. But look. Can you see? I'm going to raise this up a bit because it's like, I don't think you guys are getting the, the whole thing here. So, see now? Okay, let's set. Uh, should we put some, should we, should we paint some hollow on here like we did the other one? that was so beautiful remember this makes see remember it makes the rainbow can you guys see that so we've got that going for us too so hollow on let's let's of course we have to have hollow on it geez what am I thinking <laughs> uh, brush paintbrush <clears throat> hollow hollow for real <laughs> um I'm, yeah put it on this part this stuff is magic i so need to to get some but i have a feeling it, it's going to just go a long way because it doesn't take a lot because it's like really powerful you see that It's 
surprise I asked. Well, my new thing, Susan, is to have an interactive live session. So I want everybody to participate in this beautiful thing. So I didn't make it all by myself. Gosh, no. We all did it together. Right? It's a creative rock art and foil techniques group project. That's just very pretty. Okay. That is one blingy wing. <laughs> blingy wingy. Okay, we have to let that dry while that's drying. I know we've been on here a long time, but we're almost done, I promise. Uh, I'm just going to put one type of foil on the wing. What do you think? Just one, one kind? Or do you just want me to paint it with hollow? Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer. So I'm thinking for the wing, the under wing. Sorry for the bounce. We have this star pattern here. Can you see this? We could do that on the wing or like this is like the hollow that we just painted on the top wing that'd be a lot of hollow probably too much what do you guys think or the crushed glass large crushed glass look this one or this one Large crushed glass, left or right? <laughs> and there it goes, unrolled. Fireworks, okay. Got a vote. Fireworks it is, okay. Julie, if you got to go, I totally understand. I, I don't, I'm not looking up right now. I'm not saying that you're asking to go, but I know that we've been on for a long time. So don't feel like you need to uh, max out here. But I sure do appreciate every single bit of your time. And I ran out of glue. Yay! Let's see if I can do it. 15 minutes. I think we probably should be able to do that. I just got to foil the wing and then add the resin. I was going to do the background, but I don't think I want to anymore. I think I just want to... <laughs> I want it white. I like white. Okay, I might need even more glue. Wow.
I don't recommend doing this, by the way. I'm just pinning down some big sections here. Okay, on a torch, and we're going to care. And I'm going to get the UV light out here on this piece. Bye Susan! I never do either. Julie, you can, uh, and Julie's saying she doesn't hardly paint her backgrounds. I don't generally, but I've been kind of having fun with the blue sky and taking the, you know, putting clouds in it. <laughs> I don't know. I was actually thinking on this one to do a sunset, like a, a yellow, gold, red purple kind of ombre but um i just couldn't the time you know it would have been a four hour tutorial <laughs> and then i would have had to have painted my wings white to have them transparent i'd have had to paint the whole thing again so all right we ready for some fireworks okay earlier i had a member asking how to tell which side of the foil was goes on the rock and if you you need to be wearing gloves if you're using glue okay your gloves will drag on the side that goes on the see how it sort of has some <laughs> sparkle anyways it'll drag on the side it goes on the glue you'll feel it and it'll be slick on the side that doesn't so anyways when you finally identify the side you can put a, a word on it, like right side up. It only makes sense if it's not if you have the right side up. Like if you turned it over, you wouldn't be able to read that. Big sections. I have hollow everywhere. I love it. I'm going to go to sleep with glitter. No, I won't. So I got to have a. Let's see here. What do we got going? This is the best foil. You know, it's like so forgiving and always does the thing you want it to. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh, I missed a whole spot of the wing. <laughs> That's okay, it still looks beautiful. Can you see my spot I missed? Holy cow. Right there. Oh, so pretty. You know, I think I'm going to leave it. I kind of like it, don't you? Maybe we'll put some rhinestones in there. Ooh, we still got a rhinestone. The Okay, we got to, I got to get this stuff out of the way. Uh-oh. Hollow on hollow. Still looks good, though. Nice. It's kind of still wet. I'm going to put the fan on that so it will definitely be dry when we are ready for it. I have two big, huge desks in here. You'd think that'd be enough, right? No. I'm a big space hog. Okay. Got to move out for the light. I'm moving the light this way. Is we're fixing to do a flood coat of resin, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and I can get it off. So when we put the resin on, 
Oh, I got a sign. Sorry. You want to have your rhinestones handy, whatever you're going to put on there, because you put it in the resin while it's wet. That's how we set them, and our wing also goes in there. So, really guys, to do this accurately, you need to have one of these, because when we apply the wing, it takes this action to make it stay, okay? Okay, turn this off so we can, oh. Okay. So we have this crown here. Julie, I'm trying to hurry. Hang on. Eh, it won't work. But wouldn't that be cool if she was facing forward? It's like a crown. <laughs> Let's see, I need I think I'm gonna use a marquee because it kind of is long and oval and gives us a kind of the appearance of a gem, you know, on its side. Or we can do this little guy. too big. Here we go. See this one? Here? Oh, please don't fall. Oh, that was luck. <laughs> okay, so like, put this one here. Can you see? So it kind of gives you a side appearance. Make a resin drop for the crown. You're so fun. That is so fun. I should, huh? We could do. This might be too big, I think. What do you think? Ooh, I have this too. Let me do this. This one's bigger. Yes. Oh, that's it right there, huh? And then on the it, there's a fly. Oh my gosh, where did that come from? Whew. What should I put here? I know, just a big round, right? Just a big round. Right there. Look at that, you guys. Winner, winner. Isn't that a beauty? Oh my gosh, see it just came to life right before our eyes. Holy moly. Okay, back to the resin. Okay, I have my brush. Uh, last time I was on, Lisa, I think Lisa Bernard Januska, or I think I said that right. Anyways, uh, she asked if my brush was ruined. Yes, it's ruined. It's absolutely only a resin brush now. I have cleaned it with alcohol, but um, it I can use it a few more times for resin. It is a cheap master stroke from the Dollar Tree, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so I'm going to move those off. Make sure I'm clean and ready. And, sorry, you need to have it up on your riser rock. If you guys are using UV resin, I'm sure you've noticed the sides of your rock, uh, get they don't cure as well. So you want to have it up on a riser. I call it a riser rock. Just be careful because you can fuse them together <laughs> if your resin drips over. So I try not to do have any kind of resin drip going down the side. Of 
brush. I use the brush um, just to keep my hands out of the resin. I don't like it. I think we need some more, actually. So pretty. This was so much fun, you guys. So much fun. I'm really loving this series, too, with the, um, the 3D wings. I keep thinking of all the things I can do and then it doesn't have to just be wings you know it could be flower petals it could be a windshield on a sports car it could be a balloon I mean it is endless the applications for this it is game changer right and the other day I showed you don't have to have resin to do this you can do it with uh, packaging plastic you know leftover wrapping from your packages where they call it blister packaging or something I even don't even know what the kind of plastic is called <laughs> I, I do I, I just can't think of it um, you know when you take apart your pack like this stuff okay cut out a wing and then bend it you know warm it up and bend it paint it and there you go Okay, this has to be torched. Got to get the bubbles out. Set your rhinestones quickly. I'm all quickly. It doesn't have to be quickly. Oh, well, let's see. To get me to Florida, whew, I don't know. We'd have to have a lot of people in on that one. I can't travel. <laughs> okay, there's that. I'm just going to do a quick, uh, no I'm not, I got to get the wing set. All right, wing in. We ready? <laughs> okay, so I just want it to be in the resin. Oh, I might have to add some resin. I might have put too much of a bend on it too. We learning. Okay. See, I need two more hands. Holy moly. Or an assistant. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put some resin on here. And here. So we kind of make it a soupy mess. But yes, we need it to like all be fusing. Okay. Got it. Now this is going to cure it together if I could stop moving and magic <laughs> yeah it's in there Okay, I, I have to cure the the thing in the thing. I gotta cure the thing in the thing. I'm gonna put the rock in here. So this has to go for two minutes and then I will be able to take it out and hold it and show you guys. Are you excited? I'm trying to hurry, Julie. I don't want you to miss this part. <laughs> You guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I know I've said it already, but I'm so excited. I'm excited to be painting with you, to be creating with you. Just thank you. We're only 36 seconds in. So, let's see. What should we do for next prod? Oh, Monarch. We're doing Monarch. I need to remember. Oh, yeah, you sent me a picture. Okay. 
monarch. Also, don't forget, let's see, we've got some things going on in the group, creative rock art and foil techniques on Facebook. That's for my YouTube friends that don't know. Uh, head over there and we've got a daily challenge that you can enter. You need to do 15 of the 30 to be put on the spin for a prize. And then we do kind of a bi-weekly, uh, just whatever I come up with kind of contest. Uh, I'll just throw something out there randomly. <laughs> and then uh, we have a birthdays if this is your birthday month. Add your name to the birthdays and you get your name on the wheel for a prize also. And then uh, we're adding Katie Thompson added a contest this or a challenge this month for National Drop a Rock Day, July 3rd. We are doing, uh, what is it, Light It Up or Be The Light. I'm sorry, Be The Light is the theme. Beautiful. Kathy Spitz uh, did the example rock gorgeous so check out that post also oh we're off okay you guys ready okay what do you think you think it's worth the time All finished. I just got to cure it a little bit more, but you don't need to be on with me for that. Guys, thanks again so much for hanging out. I'll turn the uh, light on again. I'll give you a tour. Okay, here's the side view. Just incredible. I, I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> oh boy. All right. I will post finished pictures under my magic lights in the kitchen. They always, you know, make it on fire magic. So I do got to cure it a bit more and then I'll post pictures with the, the post. I'll um, post the links that Julie helped with. Um, if you guys have questions, leave them in the comments. Absolutely. We're here if you need help with this technique. Shoot me a PM or ask any any admin in our group or even the members are very helpful. So thank you again so much and I'm going to log off. Take good care. I'll see you again real soon.